I recently came across this software called Prism Lens. At its core, Prism Lens is a virtual camera, but it can do so much more. In this video, I'm going to focus on just one aspect of Prism Lens. Its ability to create virtual backgrounds of images and videos that can be used in any meeting software, be it Zoom, Microsoft Teams, and so on. Let's get started. Go to prismlive.com and the product that we are interested in is this one called Prism Lens. As of now, it is available only for Windows, but with a message saying that it will be available for Mac very soon. They also have a product called Live Studio that is aimed for content creators, but I'm not going to cover it in this video. Click on Windows and download the software. Once the download is completed, install it like any other Windows software. Once the installation is completed, you can launch Prism Lens. You need to have an account to use the product. You can choose to use one of the social media accounts to connect to Prism Lens or you can create an account with your own email ID and password. In my case, I chose to go with my Google account. I will connect my Google account to Prism Live Studio and I'm done. The first thing you will notice is that Prism Lens allows you to configure three different virtual cameras. And this is an interesting topic by itself that I will cover in another video. On the top right corner, we have a drop down that allows us to choose one of the available cameras on your system. I'm currently using a Sony mirrorless camera, the A7 IV, so that's what I will choose. Next to the drop down, there is a configuration button that shows you the camera properties. In this case, we are outputting at HD resolution and at 30 frames per second. Click OK. If you want to remove the background, it is a one click process. Click Remove BG. You can replace the background with a virtual background and the background can either be an image or a video. Let's try image first. This is how it looks. We can try a video background by clicking on prism and choose this one. The quality of background removal will depend upon many factors. For example, the light and the background. It would be ideal if you have a green screen or a plain background behind you. To add your own backgrounds, click on my and use this plus sign to add images or videos for your virtual background. Let's start by adding an image. I want to perform the role of a timer and I have created several virtual backgrounds to support my role. Click plus, navigate to the folder that has your images and select it and click open. If you want to add videos, do the same thing, click plus. Let's say I want this timing video called Table Topics Timer. Click open and you can see the video is playing over here. Let me add one more, three to five minutes speech. Click open, another one and so on. To change your virtual background, just click on the relevant image or video and you are done. So how do we use this in a Zoom or a Microsoft Teams meeting? I will start a new Zoom meeting. To change my camera in Zoom, all I have to do is click on this arrow key next to the stop video icon and I can see that there are three additional cameras available in Zoom, Prism Lens 1, 2 and 3. Since I know that my main camera has been configured under Prism Lens 1, let me select it and this is what your Zoom audience will see. Let me open the Prism Lens app. If I change my background in Prism Lens, the same will be automatically shown in Zoom. If I want to remove the virtual background, click on Original. And this is what the Zoom audience will see. You can apply some beauty effects by clicking on this icon. Click on Enable Beauty Effect and you can play with the different parameters that are over here. I am not a fan of beauty effects, so let me switch it off. What I might be interested in is the color correction. You can do that by clicking this color correction icon. Reduce the saturation to zero if you want black and white. Or if you are a fan of Christopher Nolan's movies, let me adjust it to a desired level. That seems fine. You can increase or decrease the contrast and so forth. There are also a bunch of built-in filters that you might want to try. Click on color filter and experiment with one of those filters to see if that is something that is of interest to you. I am happy with my original. 
So that is a quick look at just one of the features of Prism Lens, a product that has a lot of potential and I can't wait to try out the other features. And most importantly, it is completely free. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please click on like and subscribe because it motivates me to create more content like this.